Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and this is an epic 4v4 as the action already begins as we have Bactria landing against Colchis over here and fighting for the walls instantly but yes we have a 4v4, we have Bactria, we have Gallic Rome, we have Seleucids and Egypt attacking Carthage. Strangely no Carthage here today defending Carthage or attacking Carthage. But the defenders include uh, Colchis already mentioned, we have Boii, we have um, Palmyra, and we have Sparta. So we have a few empire divided factions on the map. As you can see, they're actually quite nicely facing off against each other, Palmyra and Gallic Rome. So that kind of evens it out a little bit. Because I believe that those factions are ever so slightly stronger, I think, um, than like the, the base game factions. Certainly in stats. Um, but we'll see. We will see what happens with them. But this is an epic siege battle today, I've been told, with lots of, uh, well, twists and turns, we'll put it like that, and uh, unpredictab unpredictable uh, stuff happening. But, um, so I would definitely strap in, get yourself some drinks, get yourself some food, and get ready for an excellent battle. I do apologise that I've been away the last few days, if you haven't, um, like, already seen, I just basically put... Um, a, a post out saying I'm just uh, having some time off, had some time off, recharge and refuel, uh, ready for some more battles. But I am back and the battles will be back as well, the sieges will be back. Um, as you can see here with some Eastern Archers on a really excellent, like, hill side here. And they're like firing down onto these uh, Thorax Swords, I mean they are wrecking these guys. I would stop firing now because the damage is done, 68 men killed, I mean this... Uh, if I can see it, this Cartley Axeman unit here, yeah, 102, they have done the damage, they don't need to carry on firing, I'd find more targets if I was those eastern uh, archers. But it looks like Colchis is going to defend the walls, unlike the rest of his allies, his Cartley Axeman here are being surrounded by some um, Thorax swords and some uh, Hillmen. I mean, the Hillmen are not going to be an issue, but the swords might be. Over on this side, you can see that, uh, well, we have already some landing going on, I don't know what this defense is by Sparta, he's got like a big hole in the middle. Which kind of uh, defeats the object of defending this choke point here. You might just be better just holding one solid line. Um, but it looks like uh, Palmyra is going to defend down here. We've got some Palmyra and Le Legionnaires. Palmyra is a very like spear heavy faction. So they're not going to do so well I don't think against Gallic Rome. They're going to have a tough time. Because Gallic Rome has got a lot of swords. They're a sword heavy faction. But these guys do look very very nice. I won't lie. And they're getting javied now. By the, uh, I don't know why they put their, like, shields above their head. Like, they are getting literally thrown at them directly. Like, that is horizontal. Um, but yeah, I'm, while well, the camera, like, moves around. Yeah, this is a horizontal angle here. Like, you just throw them at their legs at this point. And, I mean, you can see there, look at that. Devastating volley. And, yeah, that unit's already down, like, 20 men. We have some, uh, Hillman coming up. They also have Hillman in this faction. Obviously, Palmyra being the eastern, like, base faction, they will. Oh, we've got some cavalry over here. I didn't even realize. We have some, like, uh, light horse. They could go around and start going for archers or slingers. I mean, certainly going after Egypt's archers would not be a bad idea. Maybe the artillery back here. It's already taken one of these artillery pieces out. I'm not sure. Oh, it's all the way back there. Okay. And they've got, what was this? Uh, another Greek onager. Oh, this is definitely for the right for the taking. I'd definitely be going after this if I was... Uh, Light horse, you could, and you're so quick. I don't think they have any cavalry of their own, do they? Oh, they have the Ptolemaic cavalry. That's the general. Be interested to see where they'd use him. I mean, the thing is that light cavalry is so quick, you could probably could probably dance around anything. That's what I was trying to say. Are they say up a ramp? No, this is a gallery. I don't know why they bother at this point. I mean, it's got pikes under, but I mean, I don't think anyone's going to focus the pikes down. There's, the arch has got a lot more issues. There's a lot of stuff on the walls currently. But it looks like a uh, Carl. No, I want to keep calling them Carly, but they're not Carly. Uh, it's because they've got so many axemen from Carly. Um, but it looks like uh, Colchis is doing a really good job. He's actually clearing out a lot of uh, like the back on the wall. I mean, with the help of his archers up here, it's no surprise. But this was sent in by a member of the Discord, so if you want to, obviously. Uh, Send in your own replays for me to then feature on the channel. Join the Discord. It's, the link is down below in the description. Always welcome for new members. And it's always great to uh, have you there. And interact with uh, you guys.
But yeah, I mean, it looks like I think they're going to clear up most of these uh, Thorax swords on the wall. I think the main issue at the moment is Gallic Rome. I mean, they seem to be wrecking. Like, these hillmen are getting wrecked. I mean, there's already, uh, like, more stuff in here. But we always have to send in troops here to help Palmyra out. A weird coalition of Gauls and... I don't know what you call them. Eastern Romans, I guess? They're sort of Eastern Romans. Well, it's uh, like a, an absolute mess. And also, I mean, these late Roman factions, they also got, like, pikes. I don't know if the Oh, as I speak, here they are. They just, like, appear. Like, ah, yes, Pope requires us, our presence. Bring out the pikes. But yeah, so it looks like the pikes are uh, getting ready, then they're going to go in, and they're going to probably get through most of the stuff, because, I mean, Bowie Eye and... I mean, Palmyra does have pikes. I don't know if he has actually brought any. He has. Oh, no, they're Palmyra Legionnaires. No, maybe not, then. I mean, Palmyra looks like he's nearly, s not spent, but he's having to bring up a lot more reserves. It doesn't look like he's brought any. So Palmyra's not brought the only thing that he's, like, got, re which is really, really good for him, which is pikes. Which is kind of surprising, since he's on the defense as well. You can see they're snaking their way through these long pikes. Trying to find a way through. But, I mean, looks like every front's now being attacked. I mean, Sparta looks like he's, uh... Having a, having a hard time here. He's lost a lot. These Spartan hot plates are getting wrecked. Look at the bodies here. That is like all Spartans as well. What were they fighting? I mean, actually, I actually think that might even mean all Javis. That is just disgusting. Um, but I mean, it looks like the attack is having a bit of an issue here with the uh, stakes, which is kind of funny. They're trying to weave their way through. Look at this. It's like a forest of stakes. Just knocked down a forest to make those stakes and then rebuilt a forest in the form of stakes. Spartan hot plates losing decisively against silver shield swords. That's kind of not surprising. It's a battered unit, and also I think silver shields would probably beat Spartans. Then we've got armored swords here ready. Looks like Palmyra is going to have to help out Sparta here. Though Palmyra's got his own issues. Looks like these Spartans are going to probably lose that. I mean, they're fighting on the walls as well, Sparta, and they're fighting over here in this choke point. I think they're doing a little better over here. They've got their own pikes up, I think. Somewhere in here. Yeah, Perioko pikes. They're having a bit of an issue, though. Well, I say having an issue. They're, they're, they're doing perfectly fine. They need to be careful. They're blobbing up. I think one unit of pikes here would have been ample. They only need to send up another one. Because it just makes it a nice, easy target for these guys just to jab these uh, pikes to death. The fire on the wall here. Royal Spartans. What are they fighting against? Thorax Swords. Uh, yeah, no, no real surprise who's going to win this. Oh, I do apologize. Wall, like, just getting the right camera angle on the wall is absolute meh. Sometimes. But it does look like um, Egypt's having a... T well, I'd say e Egypt's having a tough time. He's having a mixed... Mixed response, I'd say, from this. He's doing okay, I think, on the wall here. He'll beat these uh, Spartans eventually. So they've got more ready for them. Um, Spartans got a lot. He's got actually a, a Greek scorpion. Is that firing up onto the wall? It must be. Yeah, that is definitely firing up onto the wall. That's firing like at the um, Galatian Royal Guard in the uh, reserve, which is a really good target to go for. But yeah, that guy. I mean, you can barely see what's going on there. He can all he can see is a is a bush. He's just been told by someone, fire through that bush, there's a godload of Galatians there. Get them all. Yeah, I mean, they are taking a few, snatching a few off the walls. Imagine you're just, like, chilling there in reserve, and then just all of a sudden a massive bolt comes by and just snatches you off the wall. You'd not be pleased. I mean, you wouldn't be able to say anything. You're dead. Oh, no, this is not good. These uh, Spartans looking the wrong way, and they're losing decisively to this longsword cohort unit, which I'm not sure how this has got here. It must have pulled through because... These guys have yet to break. And this is the only way that uh, Gallic Rome could get round. So that's not that great. You don't want to see pull-throughs, really. Um, but it looks like Colchis is having the, taking the offensive down here. I mean, with the help of Bowie Eyes. These sword followers and uh, Cartley Axemen doing their bit against the Thoros Spears. They should win this fight, you imagine. Thoros Spears aren't great. I mean, these are two depleted units, though. So. Oh, as I say it, it looks like uh, some longsword cohort are coming up. Looks like Gallic Rome's, like, doing a lot of the work here for the attackers. He's putting out a lot of fires, and he, like, here. And he's also just causing more fires for the defenders. 
by uh, making offensives. So he's, uh, I mean, he's got plenty left. What's he got out here? He's got Gallic Imperial Guard. Oh, God, they're good. And we've got Gladiators. Um, which are pretty good shock infantry. We've got quite a few long tour cohort left. We've got Pikes still to come in. This is a fresh bike unit, yeah. And we've got some uh, Gallic Warriors. Just a very, I don't know why they didn't get sent in first to die. They'd be very useful just to suck up the ammo. And here come more Pikes again. It looks like uh, it's going to be a Thorax Pikes of Bactria now coming up. So these, uh, this little offensive here is uh, not going to end very well. I mean, it looks like Kolk is getting ready with the next uh, defense of these Kolkian nobles. These guys look awesome. Um, I do like their helmets. I wish Colchis was had like a better roster and stuff. Like, look at these guys' helmets. They've got like little wings on the side. That's so cool. It's the little details like that. They're like just glorious. Just glorious. But I mean, it looks like over here it's just a mess of colours and. And these armored swords look really cool. I just don't know how good they are. I think they're okay. Yeah, they're winning actually here. I don't know why they're falling back now. They're winning that fight. They were beating the Silver Shield, which was not surprising. Um, are they falling back because Sparta's about to lose here? Well, he's not about to lose. Are they fall Yeah, I think they're falling back because they know this is the, be the best next defense. They should try and get one of these units out of here. Probably get the uh, spawn hot plates out of here. I don't know. They just seem to give up that area. I don't think it was the Lost Cause just yet. I mean, these archers on the wall have been actually decimating. I have forgot to say, they, like, they decimated Egypt's archers up here. And I think Seleucids. Like, these Hamian archers, which are like an infantry unit. You can see here, look at, like, the, like all these archers just here. Anything that comes up onto the wall gets decimated. And they should definitely be taking out these uh, Cretans next. And they're, as I say it, they're going for it now. These poor Cretans are about to get, like, absolutely, like... Hellfire on them. Ancient Hellfire, also known as lots of arrows. And there's, I guess that's actually Ancient Hellfire, probably a catapult firing over. Has the light horse actually mobilized yet? Because it really should about now. Get this light horse and I send it all the way round. See if the Ptolemaic Cav will chase it. And then if it'll chase it, bring it back to the walls for someone to shoot it. Because they need to go after these two artillery pieces. That'll be huge wins for them. Looks like Seleucid's still got stuff out here. He's still got Silver Shield Pikes. There's a lot of Pikes that have come in by the looks of it then. I think the only one that didn't bring Pikes was possibly Egypt, but I could be wrong. No, he brought he brought Pikes too. He's got Hellenic Royal Guard over here. So they all brought Pikes. Um, and the defenders didn't. It's going to be interesting. Because I know certainly Colchis can't bring Pikes. I know... Bowie I obviously can't bring pikes. Palmyra could, but didn't. And I think Spar was the only one that did. Unless these are his pikes here. No, here are the pikes for Palmyra then. Here are the pikes for Palmyra. The Imperial pikes. They were a long way back. Let's see these glorious men come up. Oh, yes. The finest men in the Palmyran Empire. I mean, it's the Pretender's Empire. The true empire is Rome. We're all about Aurelian and his Roman Empire. Um, but, I mean, yeah, these pikes, I presume, should they need to get to the center, really. They need to hold, like, here. Cause I, and, like, over here, possibly, because this is where the issues are. I mean, these pikes here are still holding 59 men. And they're a light pike unit. Oh, no, they're a heavy pike. Which, I guess, is light in the sense of pikemen, because they're either medium, heavy, very heavy, or super heavy. So, if you're a heavy pikeman unit, you're actually on the l lower scale of things. But look at this mess in here. I'm, like, there is... It's such a mess of bodies and, like, colours. There's, like, the Bowie Eye and, like, Palmyrian line. And this is the Bactrian, Seleucid, and Gallic Rome line, I presume. I think that's what's in here. I, there could be anything in there, to be honest. There's anything in everything. Yeah. And Egypt's even in there. Jeez, this is every single faction of the attackers is in here. They're desperately trying to break through. I mean, all of the... Uh, Defenders have to do is just keep putting one unit in here and keep firing like so many arrows into this blob because this is a seriously big blob. And it looks like that's what they're doing. They've got Celtic bows here. These guys are firing, I hope, straight in. Yeah, they are. They're not the greatest of bows, but they'll do a good job. And what we've we got coming up more Eastern archers. Hopefully they have ammo. Looks like, uh, looks like they're going to win on the walls here, a Colchis. They keep setting up axes and they keep winning. I mean, they're now fighting Thoros Spears, which is never a good sign. 
Um, for Bactria. Bactria, I mean, Bactria still got quite a bit, though. I mean, mainly throw our spears. He's got some Royal Guard left as well. He's got some more pikes. He's got elephants for a general. That's definitely something they want to focus down. Do uh, the defenders. I, my god, they have a lot back here. Colkin, Nobles. Yeah, they've still got an Eastern Spear unit. Classic. They do have a lot back here. Do they have those sworn? They do. I think they're they're all set on this side. I think Bowie Eye and Colkis have done a good job so far. It does help that they're all almost two teaming Bactria. So I mean they might want to start sending some reserves elsewhere. Like Bowie Eye's already doing that. He's sending sword followers down here to help this fight out. But, I mean it looks like Sparta Sparta looks like he might take out Egypt. If he takes out this blob, then he's probably in a good spot here. Though Egypt has got a lot more. I think Seleucid needs to like shift his weight a little bit more like he's um he seems to be attacking a lot of places that everyone else is attacking he needs to possibly like set up, set up his own offensive i know it's pretty hard at the moment we might want to go and help like with egypt over here Egypt's looking a little bit thin on the grounds he's got some arches over there but he needs to possibly put some more over there oh he's made a hole in the wall an interesting use of ammo i guess that gets his artillery in but they could just capture a gate which I'm sure they have captured. They've captured one all the way over here. They could just walk the artillery in. And they might capture this one. Which reminds me, where's the light cavalry? It's still here. It's still not gone out this gate. There's literally, like, artillery to go for now. I know there's some cavalry for Bactria, but that cavalry... Your Bowie Eye's cavalry will get there first, but like that. They need to get that cavalry soon. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of, like, archer fire in here. What is this? This is the Hello Archers now. Sparta are firing, finally firing. And they're firing into all of this blob down here. And here comes the Clash. It looks like the, are the Pikes dead for Sparta? No, surely not. Surely they just, yeah, they just fallen back. That's good. I think they fell back because they realized they were just getting jabbied. Which is good because they need those guys. And yeah, now this is perfect. Spartans can hold these guys up for years. And they can just allow the archers just to fire in here and get a lot of good kills on all this blob. This is a pretty big blob. Could definitely do with taking this out. I mean, they're gonna actually send the pikes back in. I wouldn't send both in. It's just wasteful. Because they're just, I mean, look at that, Egypt's falling back. As soon as, the, it's just a bit of cat and mouse. Egypt falls back as soon as the pikes come back. The pikes, like, fall back. Egypt goes back in. It could be like that for a little while. It's very clever by Egypt. Good way to preserve your men. He does realise that he's not got a chance of those pikes there. Might want to set up his own pikes then. Hellenic, he's got his Hellenic Royal Guard somewhere. They might want to send up. They were spotted. Look at this Spartan just defending on the wall, on the uh, on the wall, on the uh, steps. Looks pretty cool, and it looks like uh, we're gonna have some flanking around. That looks like some uh, royal peltas going in there. That's probably Seleucids. Yep. Defending the steps. Every step must be fought for, men. Got the Harry and Arch in there. These guys are pretty good in combat. They uh. They've got spears out, they've got spears, and they're, so they're good in anti-cav as well. And I think they're like an archer infantry unit, they're like heavy range infantry, I've forgotten what they're actually, what like how the terminology is, but that's basically what they are. But this fight for the... Uh, Fight for the steps will look like it's going to go on for a long time. More Spartans coming up now. I mean, it, they need to hold this area because otherwise if they don't, then it threatens this defense over here, which has moved on now. You can see, look at the bodies. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. The banners, they're like this banner here that's just fallen down. Gosh, this is devastating. But um, yeah, it's fallen back now. It looks like we've got some uh, armored swords here that's still losing. They're going to have to send in more. They need to get one of the Spartan Pikes over here to help this fight out. But I mean, balance power is looking still even. But I'd say it's certainly in favor of the attackers at the moment. I'd say the attackers are doing a really good job. I mean, they're lining up everything on the walls here. These archers out of ammo, they look like they are. Well, this, one's, uh, this one isn't, but this one with the spears out is. I 
And it looks like they're moving the Greek Scorpion up now. Not a bad idea. I think this is not the idea to just try and lure these guys into combat. I thought the Pikes were about to just get destroyed, but it's the Hot Plight, so it's not the end of the world. They need to send these... What happened here, though? These guys were just fresh not long ago, and they're, like, down to 50 now. Please tell me it wasn't friendly fire from the flipping, uh... Uh, scorpion. Because if it was, then I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed. But I mean, the pikes, where are they? The pikes are back here again. They're getting, like, beaten up ever so slowly. They were at 117, both units. And now they're down to 106, 101. They need to be careful. They need, if they're going to send them in, they need to stay in. This Spartan line just... It's not breaking. I mean, Sparta's like nearly everywhere now. He's all. He's also defending against like the flanking force from Gallic Rome. Yeah, this is not going anywhere anytime soon. This, if they have some artillery, this is where you want it. But they haven't brought any. I mean, the only artillery there is is that that scorpion. But they need like archers or artillery down here. This is some serious blobbing going on. This is just not. You do not want to do this in Rome too. Luckily the. For the attackers, they're not being punished somehow. Um, this again, don't want to do this. This is pretty bad as well. And they had in the uh, range of the uh, defenders so they could go for this elephant unit. They are, they're actually firing on it. They are shooting Eastern Archers, I'm pretty sure. These guys are firing. They need to get fire arrows out and take out this uh, general. It's a perfect time to do it. They now got a. Uh, now Palmyra is over here, and Palmyra does not need to be sending stuff here. He needs to be sending everything down here. Gallic Rome is his issue. Palmyra looks like he's nearly out. He needs to get his pikes up to the front line. Like, these pikes need to get up here. They possibly wanted to... I don't know. Like, they're still fighting for the walls, so I can't really say. But, like, they're staying at the walls for a long time, and it's allowing these archers to get some good angles. Just flank these Thoros Spears at this point. Just flank them. Taking too long here. I mean, they've got archers coming up now. They're just going to hold the line with just utter rubbish. Hold the line with utter rubbish while the quality stuff breaks through elsewhere. It's a very good idea from the attackers. I mean, they're going to need more in here. They're losing decisively. It looks like there's uh, artillery going off. I don't know exactly where. It might be here. Might, yeah, it, it quite possibly might be here where this, like, massive, like, blob of dead people is. It's not massive, but blob of dead people. It looks like, uh, Palmyris is getting ready for the eventual fallback of Spa, but Spa does not look like he's falling back anytime soon. He needs to, uh, Palmyris needs to get his pikes into the right area, which is where he's defending. He doesn't need to help Spa. Spa's got his own pikes and his own problems. Send the pikes up to kill these Thorax pikes. They should do the job. Uh, these are very heavy against heavy, though. We'll have to see. They can't just let their spawn hot plates and, and here is a spot like take the pain. But that is a bad move there by Egypt. That might cost him. He's just sent his pikes deep into the enemy lines, and he's allowed like the here is a spot to get inside the enemy, like the inside the pike line. As I guess I put it like that, it gets inside the pike line. If you get what I mean, I guess. You, like, if you march forward with pikes, you've got to be careful. But you're forcing back the troops with the pikes instead of just the troops getting sneaky inside and then they start killing your troop, uh, killing your pikes. Or kill a few anyway. And you need every pike you can get. And here we go. It looks like Gallic Romes, they finally got to the top of these stairs. And they're now uh, pushing on again. Look at this. This is a serious blob going on here. This is horrendous. Someone needs to act on this. They've not got any artillery anywhere close. They might need to send these Oswan elsewhere. I mean, or send a couple. Because I think they've got this area sorted. I mean, they've got veteran spears here. They've got some pretty elite stuff still knocking about here. Though it does look like Colchis. Oh no, Colchis has sent his reserves all the way around here. Which is a smart idea because... Well, I mean, Spar's about to break here. I do not see how the defenders are going to turn this around. They're in a really sticky position here. They need to take out Bactria. If they can take out Bactria, which... Um, I mean, he nearly is out. 
then they can start a new offensive on Gallic Rome. Gallic Rome's got the most reserves left, I think, and the, and the scariest reserves. So Lucid somehow is already pretty spent. He's got his pikes left, which is going to be a bit of an issue. And he's got some elite swords. But most of his swords and stuff are now committed to this uh, stair action. And here, it looks like the elephants are going to go in. Or well, they were look like they were going to go in. They've already lost one. That's never a good sign. I don't think they've got many kills at all. How many kills do these guys have? 30 kills. Yeah, that's not good. They need to get in there. Well, just look at the dead air. This has just been like the entire fight on this street. It's been happening since the start of the battle. That is like 20 odd minutes ago. We still got a long, long way to go. So I still hope you still got a lot of snacks and drinks, guys. Because, uh, well, this battle is nowhere near from over. There's plenty of men left. Got the hammer and archers in here. They'll do a really good job against this cavalry that's come in. That cavalry's kind of got wasted. I mean, there's like six of them left. Oh, there's a few more than that. But they are beaten. The Roman general here is slowly getting sniped. They need to keep an eye on this. I don't know if he's getting sniped from here or where. But he's, he's being beaten up a bit. Two elephants dead now. They are, I mean, this is a great idea to shoot them normally. But you could just like fire arrow them. They'll go mad. They'll start killing other troops, and that's a much better way of uh, getting rid of these guys. Those are long swords finally breaking. They're actually winning in this fight now. They might actually be winning here. But look at this, gladiators. Oh, 52, and they're combat even. This is, they are nasty. And yeah, there's another elephant going. These guys are slowly dying. I still think fire arrows is the best way to get rid of them. You don't kill them. But you just make them mad and you kill all the stuff. Hey, here come the elephants. They finally had enough. And they don't get a great charge because they're charging into the back of their own troops. But they should start to do some damage quite soon. But there's another one dropping already. It's because they're already so beaten up from all the combat, uh, from all the arch fight they've had. Going into combat is pretty nasty for them. And this is Bactria's general. So, I mean, Bactria could die soon here. I mean, he's... Uh, He's not got much left anyway, so he's kind of risk-free from doing this. And he's going to pull back his elephants already. It's Yeah, it's not looking great for this, this elephant unit. And this stair action over here is also not looking great either. I mean, look, these Royal Peltas are flanking around. I and mean, there you go, some Carly Axemen going in. They are really, like, throwing in everything here. Colchis is actually throwing in all of his reserves. All his Colchian nobles are about to die on the sword on a long sword. And we've got even more coming in now. It's just like I don't think the attackers realize they don't need to send more in. They're gonna win this fight. They don't need to send more in through sheer numbers. They're gonna win this fight. And the defenders keep sending stuff in. Like every it's just such a mess. If one person had artillery here, like for either side, they just destroy them. I mean, I don't. Yeah, did Bactria use his art, his ammo? I don't know. He's like just left his Greek onager all the way back there. If he had ammo, they might want to use that. Same with uh, Egypt. I don't know if he still had ammo. Where did the light horse go? Is it still? Please tell me this light horse is. It's still here. Still here. I don't know what he's gonna wait for or looking for. That was a, some good uh, options to take out those heavy onagers. Yeah, I have no idea what. Like, if they had uh, like if they had ammo on those artillery, this blob here. If you take this out, you've won. GG. There's that is like everything. They've nearly sent in everything of the defenders as well. So it's just the O Sworn, uh, one unit of sword followers, some pikes over here, and some hot plates. Then a couple of units of archers, or a unit of archers and generals, and that's it. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I mean, at the same time, though, I mean, the attackers have ever... Actually, the attackers have got a lot more in reserve compared to the defenders. They've got all of this to start with. This is just, like, a bunch of cohorts down here. And they've got pikes as well. I can't wait to see how they're going to get pull this one around if the, attack, if the defenders do. I can't personally see them doing it. Eastern Spears, now sent in. They're not going to hold long, though.
this blob is <laughs> never ending. It's a never ending blob of death. Spartans and Cold Kiss fighting side by side. How's the uh, Gallic Rome generally? He's still at 43. He's still not being sniped up too much. Probably want to do that. I mean, it's a bit cheesy, but at this point, they, the defenders might need to take out a couple of generals if they're going to cause any routing. Because, I mean, Spartan generals aren't going to go up. It's getting already pretty pretty desperate over here by the looks of it. Yeah, they've. I think they've lost this fight at the Pike fight here. So, I mean, I guess, in a way, a good thing that Palmyra kept Pikes here because they're going to need them. And here you go, a nice sneaky little flank here going on by Sparta. He's going to try and uh, flank around, but these Galatian swords are going to stop them in their tracks. They're just trying to flank these silver shields. Actually, I don't know. They might have killed Egypt's pikes, or well, one of them. But, I mean, now it's, uh, it's Lucid's time to set up some pikes. Now the general's going in. He's going to have to engage a small, tiny unit of uh, Galatians quickly. It's falling back. Does look like you're going to need some pikes up here soon. Colkis is falling back. Are they actually going to give up this area? Looks like they might. Yeah, there's a full on retreat going on. Looks like Boei's been given the order. They're going to have to keep a couple of units back, but looks like the order's been given to retreat. I don't know where they're going to retreat to. Is it going to be sort of here, possibly? I don't know. It might be here where these pikes are. If that's the case, they want to get uh, Palmyra's general back. But yeah, there you go. The order has been given. They've uh, realized there's just not enough. They can't hold here. These are not great defenses anymore. And they probably are. It probably is the case, but I don't know whether. Uh, they're going to be able to defend further back. Bowie Eye's not falling back as much as his uh, allies, though. And that unit of Eastern Spears, yeah, that, you don't want to keep that, actually. 76 men. I was saying that's quite fresh, but it's Eastern Spears, end of the day. Um, I don't think they're going to gonna make the difference in this battle. No offense. They might want to get some of these Spartans back, though. I certainly want to get back uh, these heroes of Spire. Pull back these chaps and then uh, see what happens from there. But yeah, this looks like the line of defense Lewis Palmyra is setting up. He's been ready with his pikes for a long time here. And maybe this is the time they were waiting for to use these uh, light horse then. Get them in behind when they're all attacking here. Just go out this gate, go around. There's a breach here now they've used. Handy that the uh, attackers made that breach. Just allow them in because otherwise there wasn't actually a way for the light horse to get in and do anything. I don't know why Sparta's sending in more stuff. Just pull it back. I mean, Seleucid's allowing him to get out of this. He's allowing him. Well, not a lot, not purposely, but like he's not paying attention and just like he's more interested in attacking a small contingent of Spartans that's basically surrounded. But yeah, it looks like there's going to be like a two-pronged attack here, so you've got to attack on two fronts. Be interesting. Might need to send up these uh, these pikemen to go and help the general up here. Because this general is uh, the only thing defending them. And otherwise they can get all the way around here. And then you carry on down this like sort of slope down here. And then you're at the main capture point. That is, that's all you got to do. So it'll be interesting. Are we going to have an assault straight away? I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to just quickly fast forward a little bit. And we'll see if anything occurs from that. Does look like 
Gallic Rome is going to carry on his offensive up here, which he was doing really well in the first, uh, the first defense, we'll call it, the first half of this uh, defense. And now we're kind of coming on to the second. It might be a third half, which I don't know how you get a third half, but don't doubt it. I mean, it looks like uh, Bowie is going to send some stuff here to help defend this area. I'd pull back this Palmyrian Palace Guard. He's, pretty, he's a pretty good unit. You're going to need him later on. But I mean, yeah, Gallic Rome's got so many fresh longsword cohorts still. What's this, a fresh gladiator? More fresh longsword cohort. I mean, he's... Yeah, I mean, he's still got his uh, Imperials as well. I mean, he only brought one, luckily, and he's got a fresh pike unit. Hopefully they've got ammo for the pikes. Or they're going to use their own pikes against them. But yeah, I mean, it does look like it's... Uh, well, this is what it's going to shape up. It looks like Egypt and Seleucus is going down here. What's left of Bactria and Gallic Rome is going up against uh, Bowie Eye and Palmyra. I mean, Palmyra is just everywhere. He's having to be everywhere. And here we go. It looks like the next stage of the skirmish phase is going to start. Everyone's going to be targeting pikes at this point. Pikes or uh, generals or... Well, I'd certainly go for generals if I was uh, going after Gallic Rome's, but this is a long way off now. This is still all the way back here. Pretty safe here, to be honest. But here we go. Looks like the first assault's about to start. It's going to be... Maybe? I don't know. This looks like it might be the first assault. Yeah, longsword cohort going in. They're going to go in after Palmyra's general. Nope. They've decided that's a, that was a bad idea. I don't think it really was. I mean, he's in a square formation, which is pretty defensive. But it's only good if you like being surrounded. But here we go. It looks like they're going to form test judo. And just let uh, the defenders waste their ammo, which is not a bad idea. I just look at the banner and it's like, Excuse me, excuse me, I've got to get to the back. Um, it's a bit of a risk here at the back, but yeah. This is where I must be. And here we go. It looks like Gladiator is going in first. They're going to take on Palmyra's general. The finest from the Colosseums of, uh, well, what col would you have? Uh, arenas of Gallic Rome, I guess. You don't have a Colosseum in Gallic Rome. There is only one Colosseum. Yes, yeah, so they just got every good fighter from the arenas and said, how would you like to go to war? And the gladiators have probably had no chance, choice because they're slaves um, in the matter, but, you know. That's, that doesn't mind. I mean, most of these probably most of these troops are conscripts anyway. Bar the Romans. Yeah, I mean, how are these? Uh, I mean, yeah, look at this. Palace Guard already losing. They need to send in more. It's because they're spears against swords. Palmyrus lost so many of his swords early on. He's just a superior uh, sword faction. He's just not having a good time. They need uh, a miracle. I'm going to say the defenders at this point. They're going to need a miracle. I wonder if you could sneak through here. Through, sneak a, get a unit through there and then get through that gap. Because this is like a path. I wonder if that's why this uh, pike unit's here. Because I'm sure you could. Looks like Egypt and Seleucus aren't going to attack anytime soon. It's just Gallic Rome's been the one to go in first. I mean, he's got more troops than anyone else. Uh, I'd say balance powers... I'd say it's ever so slightly in favor of the defenders. Uh, the attackers, sorry. Pikes coming in now. Now is the time to set up your own pikes if you've uh, Palmyra. Certainly fall back that general. That general's getting beaten up. Now we've got veteran spears in it. Yeah, everything just... I don't know. I don't know. They're going to need a miracle. They need this pike unit up here, though. Spars having to send up his stuff. It looks like they're already falling back again. Oswald now coming back. They certainly need Oswald over here to help fight these Gallic Romans off. I wouldn't send them all back because you're going to need more stuff here. I mean, they look like the elephants. Ah, I wouldn't. What happened here? These elephants got massacred. They're down to six, uh, six men. But I mean, they certainly, yeah, I can see why they're falling back now here. Bactri is going to threaten this flank, flank even if it's with six uh, elephants. I mean, Gallic Rome can send stuff around. They're all already falling back again. So this, like, second defense on this side is uh, very short. And they've kind of thrown away these units, I'd say. These guys are just going to get wrecked by the pikes. A 
execution there by a long sword co-op. These guys almost look like medieval with like the chainmail just over their head and like no uh, no helmet on. It's a very medieval sort of look. Yeah, these veterans, uh, veteran spears are just going to get absolutely... Well, you can see they're already wavering. I mean, both these units are wavering and losing. It's just what happens when you come up against pikes and swords combined. You need your own pikes and swords. Or pikes and spears. Just, you, need, you need pikes to fight pikes. And they're not using their pikes. If they can take that pike menu now... I mean, they've got it down to 97 in fairness. It's pretty beaten up. Um, they've got a chance, but they've got lots more pikes over here to deal with as well. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Certainly this flank over here, if they keep pushing this Gallic Chrome, they should do fine. They just need to be... Egypt and Seleucid just need to be patient. Gallic Rome is going to win his flank, I think, quite easily. Mainly because he's Gallic Rome fighting a... Like, Grand Campaign faction. But... He's also brought a very good roster. And where are they falling back to now? If they're going to have to fall back, they've got to fall back to here. Um, actually, well, you can flag around here as well, though. That's the thing. Uh, they're in a really ish sticky position here. They might need to hold here, and not, might need to hold here. Or, I don't know, but then you can flank around there. It's going to be tough. There's not many more better defences than, uh, like, further back you go in Carthage. And it looks like, uh, oh, we've got a bit of an engagement over here. It looks like some archers got sent in to die. Oh, no. They're just very close to the front line. Yeah, it does look like uh, Gallic Chrome is basically just getting ready for another assault. I'm just going to fast forward again. So we don't have to uh, just watch that everyone march up. Egypt and uh, Seleucid aren't interested in moving forward, so. I mean, why would they? They don't need to. Time is, uh, well, on their side, I'd say. Unless uh, Bowie I can just, like, destroy most of these units, which... I mean, I, I believe in Bowie Eye, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, the General's coming up here for uh, Gallic Chrome. This is a good chance. If he'd left him at the back, he'd be fine. But, I mean, to give us some hope to the uh, defenders, they've got any archers to javi him, but I don't see a single... I uh, don't see a single archer unit left for the uh, defenders. I think they all got shot to pieces. And here we go, I think. We are in combat. Yeah, there's a bit of combat over here. Well, there's those archers getting sent in. I wonder if more art Yes, yeah, so the Seleucids are going to get sent in now. This is a pretty nasty defense. I wouldn't want to attack this. Got this is filled with hot plights. It's filled with pikes. It's uh, it only ended in a, a massacre. I mean, there's some uh, eastern archers here. They've got uh, their swords out though, so. That's not good. Um, looks like Sparta's general is all the way back here for some reason. Where is he going? And this light horse unit still... Is he just going to sit here? Ah, he's going to sit here and then be uh, a bit of a sneaky force. I wonder. But yeah, this light horse is still available. They might want to bring that round. Because it can't be used really over here. Might want to bring that round and uh, go for some uh, Romans. I don't know. I don't know. What have they got? They've got cavalry. They've got silver shield swords as their own generals. Yeah, it's... It's got to have to be going after cavalry. You've got to go after generals at this point. You've got to cause some sort of routes as a defender. I mean, they're quite happily defending here. But they don't realise that this is very flankable. Or maybe the attackers don't realise. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, this general here is very much... Uh, well, he's not on his own just yet. But he could be soon. Scutiari General. Spanish. Does look like... Well. Oh, okay. I was just wondering what was happening over here. I thought they were making an offensive. It's just... No, again, archers. Just being sent up to die. I don't know why like players do this. I see... Like... 
I see what you mean, like, aren't they just useless to send them in to die? But, like, you might as well send them in to die with, like, other units, like, commit them to the... To, to an actual fight that they might be useful in. Um, or just, just to fill the line up. Send them to just die and charge and that. They might need, be useful to just, like, if you're making a retreat. Use them there, but yeah, Gallic Rones realizes this is a, a flanking option here. And, um, well, Bowie Eye's going to have to send up more troops, so he's going to just defend this flank here. It's not a bad idea. But, I mean, unless... I mean, Gallic Rome can keep pushing around here, and uh, that means Colchis would have to retreat. And they already might have to retreat anyway. Looks like a little fight still going on in this wall. We've got a tiny unit of Carly Swords here. This unit of Royal Spartans is breaking for some reason. Oh, they're bringing up more archers, that's why. These poor guys just point bike firing into these uh, Royal Spartans. This is a cowardly way to fight a battle, whoever said that. Just as you're firing like arrows just point blank into these guys. Surprised they're not hitting more troops, to be honest. These guys are pretty beaten up. But it's going to come down to like a pretty epic showdown. I mean, it's definitely not in favor of the... Uh, of the defenders, but I've seen I've seen comebacks like this before, and it could happen again. I don't know if it will, but it might. They need to move this cavalry though. I hope that Bowie has not forgotten about this, and he's just waiting for the perfect movement. I'm expecting that light horse to get hundreds of kills now. I keep looking at it, and I'm just like. Where are the kills? Where's it, when's it going to move? But look at this. Here's the column coming up. Longsword cohort. Look like they're going to be fighting off some sword followers. I mean, so far, we've seen that this doesn't end well for the Bowie Eye. And they could flank round, could uh, the Gallic Romans. They need to be careful about the Bowie Eye. It's a green faction versus another green faction. Light versus dark green. More troops coming up. This looks like some O-Sworn ready here. And the elephants in the background getting ready. I mean, they got a lot here. Have uh, Well, are they just going to jabby them? If they jabby, that's a good idea, but... And this is lucky that Gallic Rome has said everything in a big blob here. One big blob. If I was... Uh, well, I don't know. You could certainly flank around with this O-Sworn. Go for these pikes. Take out this elephant and then flank around all this. Could possibly do that in time. If you could just engage if you engage in the front here, engage these guys. Yeah, that would actually give them a good chance, these defenders. And they could bring up this problem here in a palace guard. They've got a noble horse here, bring that guy up. The light horse as well, that might need mobilizing over here. You could certainly do a lot of damage. You could flank and take out all this. And that would certainly bring down Gallic Rome's uh well threat, we'll put it like that. He's now setting up his pikes. General coming up, I'd definitely be trying to take out this general now, like, get some fire arrows on this. He'd do a lot of damage to this Gallic Rome force. But yeah, here he goes, he's gone in. And yeah, this uh, sword follower unit will probably start to lose now. Elephants going in. If they weren't already losing, that's the thing. They may quite possibly were. It's just... Another like 10 men is like, right, we've got to go in and take out this elephant. Someone got to go in, chop its legs up. But yeah, these pikes are now in, so I mean, I'd definitely be starting to do something with the cavalry. Certainly would be flanking around here with those spawn. Get around, take these guys out. You could flank them. They're not even setting more up. I mean, you can see here there's some desperately some, uh, well, I say desperately, some Royal Peltas coming up. So, I mean, Seleucid's obviously going to send more stuff around this side. But, I mean, there was a chance for Bowie Eye just to flank all this stuff and kill it all. But, I mean, they are actually winning in a few areas. It is long, so cohort, cohort are losing. I mean, but they are going to have to send in some more stuff. Sword Follows are about to die. They need to take out that pike unit soon. What's they f sending back in? Colkian Nobles going back. 49 men. Noble Horse. And finally, this Light Horse is on the move. Finally. He's going. I expect many a kill. And this general's actually breaking. Oh, he's, uh, he's gone mad, so he's killing his own troops. He's killing, well, a lot of these guys, which is really good for the uh, for the defenders. These 
just going to murder you, hopefully, a lot more of these guys. If they did this earlier, it would have been so much better. And here we go, the light horse finally in here. It's going to do some damage, though the pikes look like they've turned around just at the right time. This light horse, yeah, is losing decisively. It just got destroyed. That's a real, real shame. I thought that was a good chance there. They need to send, his, send some infantry around, really. And they can sandwich these guys in. That light horse, yeah, it tried. And then sadly it failed. But, I mean, it's still got a fairly fresh amount of men. They should be careful. It's going to be interesting. I mean, you can see now they're flanking around. They don't want to attack this uh, pike unit. They're going to try and flank around. Attack the sword followers on the side. They're going to try and do the same on this side as well. I mean, it's clever, it's clever by uh, Gallic Rome. He's just using every available tactic to try and avoid uh, basically just having a, a hard fight. He's making it easy for himself. And that's what you need to do. I mean, he's not making it easy for himself here. He should really flank on in this way. He's just making one big blob, and he's uh, losing everything here. So this is, I mean, this is good for the defenders. These Oathsworn are finally actually going to be able to do some action and get some kills. And the general uh, for, is still in here for Bactria. Probably dead. But hey, who knows. If we can kill off the pikes as well, that would really help. And yeah, do look like they're breaking. Oh my god, there's a huge route going on here. We've got pikes breaking. We've got cohort. We've got the general here breaking. We've got like tiny units coming up. And this loser units now have been forced to defend the rear. I mean, they might need to send that in soon. I'd flank with this O Swan. Just flank. You could kill so much. These two O Swan here are doing a good job. I mean, this one isn't apparently, but they should be fine. And here we go. It looks like the fighting's like starting over here. These longsword cohort having a, well, easy time. They're killing off a tiny unit of sword followers. This side is still not seeing any action, though. I don't know what's happened here. I mean, he is, but Egypt seems to be gone. I think he's just fight, like sending up a couple of units here occasionally. And they're uh, getting repulsed by these uh, Colchian. Well, there's Colchian nobles now. I think there was Axemen up here before. Um, but yeah, it's just come down to the Pikes looking at Pikes now. And some uh, Heroes of Sparta just thrown in. So, I mean, it's, uh, it is allowing, like, I'm guessing Kolk is realizing, like, he can send more stuff over here. He could win this fight. And Sparson is generally in the rear. He's actually surrounding. Now is the time. Go forward with this force. You need to go forward here. Sandwich these guys. Gallic Rome is in trouble here. The first time, it's not on his terms as this fight. Now, these Royal Spartans need to get a lot of kills. I mean, they're losing already. They need to go in and sandwich these guys to relieve these Spartans. They're going into a losing fight there. And it looks like he's falling back host one. Is he going to go and do that? He's going to go and charge for the center. Because he really should. Colchis should send up stuff here as well. Send some spears up. Go and take these guys out. Like the general is right here. They could get this guy. Apparently he's only got 29 men left. What happened to him? I'm guessing he was in combat here for a little while. Yeah, these Royal Spartans are losing. I mean, Sparta's not got much left. He's got, like, one unit over here. Here's Sparta. They should hold on their own for a while. But yeah, get these soc uh, get these Equites. Like, kill them. Let's push forward with the Pikes. This uh, sword follower is going to win here anyway. Send forward Palmyra's General. Palmyra's General is at least dead. Here we go. They're finally moving up. Veteran Spears going in. They're going to take out these Gladiators. They need to send more of to go and take out these, uh, this general though, really. But he's getting trapped in here. Finally, we're going to see a move from the pikes. Oh, it could be close. This could, if the Gallic Rome gets beaten here, it gets really close to this fight. And, they, and these allies aren't going to send anything over to help him. I mean, Seleucid sent a few units, but might need a few more than a one or two. This pike unit, it's struggling to get around and like, I mean... Now Gallic Rome's going to take advantage. Oh, that could be nasty though. Those pikes kind of turned around and got a few kills there. Send them in. Send them in. Now is the time. The general is in combat here. Now is the time to kill this guy. He's losing. General's recently died. 
Gallic Rome could be about to go. There's some wavering here. Oh my gosh. Sandwich these guys. It's time to sandwich them. This Pike unit doesn't, doesn't need to commit now. It's done its job. Move forward in a solid line. Gallic Rome is in trouble. The defenders might actually have this. Like in this area. They It's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. And it's going to be a lot of men of theirs sacrificed as well. I mean, Sparta's going to lose his general for this. You do imagine. How he's still fighting this, I have no idea. He's took a lot of men down with him as well, apparently. How, I have no idea. But yeah, there's hardly anything left now. For, like, this is a big blob of stuff. And here as well, it's only the uh, Gallic Imperial Guard that's still holding here. And then, I mean, this Oathsworn will just chop up this Thorax Sword. Oh my gosh, they might do it. They need to pull back their light horse, though. They need to be careful here. This Royal Peltast might want to send the Palmyrian Palace Guard just to block this area off. And here we go. We're finally having an assault on this side. Looks like the Seleucids realize and the Egypt realize how desperate Gallic Rome are in their situation. But, I mean, these Imperial Pikemen here are going to just love this. They will fight this to the end. And there's uh, these, um, I wanted to call them Wrath of Spa for some reason. The Heroes of Spa, they'll do fine. They're going to die, but they've done their job. There, look at this. They're just in the pikes. There's just pikes everywhere. You couldn't dodge this, really, could you? But yeah, apparently, yeah, the Hero of Sparta's losing. I mean, the Imperial Pikes have not really in combat, but they are sort of. These Colchian nobles, they might need to be careful. They could certainly, if the right, time's right, they could get around. Oh, and Bowie's General, he's getting in, inside. Good idea. Take out these Syrian archers. Then he could possibly come down here with their Colchian General. They could take out this uh, Ptolemaic Cav. This is going to be interesting. Back on this side, Gallic Rome's looking a bit. Still looking a bit rough. And the Light Horse has got by. And the Gallic Imperial Guard's gone. This Thorax Sword's gone. They're now chasing Peltasts. It's very. Yeah, Gallic Rome's not looking great here. These Pikes are nearly done. Oh, and it's going to be a good charge. I mean, they're gonna, this uh, light horse is going to die, but at the same time, they might have just saved some of these units. This longsword cohort, nearly dead. I mean, I don't know. It's it still can be really close over. Bohi, I still can't seem to beat um, a tiny unit of like longsword cohort. So you need to send more stuff back that way. One unit of those swarm will beat these guy, uh, these uh, royal peltas. I'd say the balance power is now in favor of the defenders, but it can still go oh so wrong. I mean, now it looks like the attackers are realizing like the threat behind them, and they're having to pull back some forces. They're about they could get surrounded here if they're not careful. I mean, they are slowly being surrounded anyway. And these towers here are helping to just chip away a few of these silver shield pikes, as they're just quite happy just to stand and look at each other. These pikemen. And here we go. It looks like they've finally caught these guys over there yet. Yeah, and the Royal Peltast getting wrecked. Probably because they're tired. More tired as well. And, well, they're not happy with, like, Gallic Rome routing. And there you go. They've routed. They're gone. So that's that flank sort of cleared up. They don't need to worry about this at all. These guys can now... They could flank around if they fancied. And um, this is all that's left of Gallic Rome. Wow. Went from being the largest army on the battlefield to probably being the smallest, apart from the dead factions like Bactria. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, every other defender's still in this. I think you got Colchis. I never got Sparta anymore, which is sad. Sparta's gone. But you got everyone else. Sparta did their bit. They sacrificed to like pin back these uh, these Gallic Romans, so they did a good job. Tip my hat to them. And it looks like, well, was that another unit of... Is that Pikes breaking there? That might be Pikes breaking. It was indeed 13 of them left. And then I'm going to throw stuff in against this Pike line. I just hope to break through. And, I mean, it looks like the two generals in the back are causing some problems here. And then our uh, Colchian Noble's going to be fighting up against some uh, Thorax Swords. I don't know who will win that. Could go either way, to be honest. Um, Ptolemy Cav charged in, and it looks like there's... I'd say the noble horse uh, kind of won that one. They don't want to keep their general by that. Uh, 
or by that tower pillar like that. That's uh, not a good idea. Might lose their general doing that, but now they can send everything over here. They can start the offensive. I mean, they could flank around here to get swords in here. Flank around. I mean, they're going to lose more Thorax swords from charging in here. Apparently, they're winning decisively. Oh, no, is that the... I don't know who's winning decisively, really. Imperial Pike, so... Still holding. I mean, look at this. A forest of pikes in here. It's going to be close. It's going to be really, really close. I don't know why Bowie I keep sending his general in, though. These Colkian nobles are doing okay, holding their best. These Thoric swords are losing. I'm surprised. The swords against, uh, well, uh, a spear unit. I was just kind of surprised. I'd send in the uh, noble horse, get it around, flank around here, and then you could get in to the back of these uh, arches and the Ptolemaic Cav again. They just need to keep an eye on this tiny force of uh, Gallic Romans. It's just 50 long swordsmen. Which, to be fair, is still a danger. They still struggle to beat that. And some, uh, and, and a general unit, which is, uh, well, just without a general. How are the uh, pikes in here? They're combat even. Pikes here. Moving. They are. Oh, they're flanking. Don't know if that's the smartest of ideas. They're pretty beaten up now, this Imperial Pike. Ah, it's moving to attack these uh, Thorax Swords. Egypt's got to be careful with this general. He's getting very close to the front line. And he actually is getting stabbed now by the Pikes. Some of his bodyguard dying for that. I don't know if Egypt's actually got anything left. Has he got, is his general alive? I'm not sure. This is all he's got left anyway, is Egypt. So, you can be as careless as he likes with his general, I guess. Colchis' general is about to go, though. This is not good, because he's got quite a few troops left. Yeah, Silver Shields. Oh, no, Silver si Shield Swords turn around to help out. It's going to be close. I mean, this uh, Pikeman unit's kind of out of its uh, out of its depth here. They've kind of, like, flanked it with the Pikes. I don't know. It's going to be close. Colchian Nobles here wavering again to Pikes. They're bringing up the other Pike, Imperial Pike unit. That's good. I forgot they had another one. How did these guys get in behind? I just realized. No idea, but they're getting killed for it. And now it's... Yeah, I'd say the uh, defenders have possibly got this. They have turned this around. I mean, the attackers could do the same. They can get the generals. I mean, they've got one general. Kolk is a general. And I think they've... I think Bowie Eyes without a general. I could be wrong. Yeah, he's dead. So, I mean, it could still go the other way, but, I mean, Palmyra's still got his general alive. He's still doing okay. Now, Palace Guard going in against Longsword Cohort. I do imagine the Palace Guard will win this. Finally, we're going to see some uh, Pal Palmyra actually probably winning against these uh, Gallic Romans. They <laughs> had a rough time as Palmyra. He's uh, initially did not do very well, and, yeah, he's turned it around. But, I mean, yeah, the defenders looked like they were going to lose this for a long, long time. And for a long, long time, I did think they were going to. But, yeah, these uh, pikes are just forcing them back. I don't actually know if they're winning. They are, actually. They're a bit too close. These uh, Thorax swords are quite well inside their uh, formation here. But, yeah, these Thorax swords losing. I mean, these... Uh, General could go around and take out this pike, and then he could flank this. So it's not quite over yet. They need to be careful as the uh, uh, defenders. They don't want to be too aggressive. Could always come to a... Well, bite them in the ass. These uh, Thorax swords certainly want to put them back here. Yeah, that pike unit's now doomed. It's gone from winning that to probably going to lose that now. Yep. Yeah, it's trying to fall back. Yep. Yeah, they're going to start getting chopped down. They might, they might break. Actually, they probably will break. I mean, this is all they've got left. I mean, they're not fighting anything here, so this is all able to just get thrown in against the Lucids. How is that general still alive? He's got six men left. Well, he's not alive, but not routed. And now, looks like Egypt might be trying to... I don't know. He might be trying to just go for the cat point. 
Egypt should have sent stuff around a long time ago if they were going to do this. Save Gallic Rome. But here we go. It looks like he's just going to just gonna chill over here. It just realizes, oh, it's the spears everywhere. Brilliant. Let's watch the uh, Egyptian child. Are you going to try and sneak around? I don't know. Yeah, he's going to try and sneak around, but actually Bowie Eye won't let him. Or maybe he will. Goodbye as we dri just drive by. It's like a drive. <laughs> it's kind of like a drive by a bit. And there, yeah, there you go. Bowie Eye's seen what's happened, and he's uh, not going to let that happen. But I mean, if a Ptolemaic cab is going to get to the center, and it's not going to cap in time before that infantry appears. They might just go for the uh, rear charge on this stuff, but even still, they've got reserves over here that can defend. And uh, yeah, it looks like the general is now losing Syrian heavy archers and the silver shield, silver shield swords losing. And that's probably going to wrap it up, to be honest, as uh, this little fight here. It's just all that's left. And this is going to be it, the fall of the sluices. I think, yeah, the Ptolemaic cab has gone for the uh, cap point. A desperate last charge. And there you go. It looks like uh, the Silver Shield's wavering now. Wow. What a fight. I hope you guys got to the end because what a comeback. Like, they were not doing well with the defenders at this point. And they made a bold decision to fall back. I thought they're going to get caught out. But the attackers let them fall back. And that's what happens when you don't attack altogether, I think, on this bit. Like, they decided to just hold here and just let Gallic Rome be aggressive on his own. I mean, Seleucid sent some stuff around. But Gallic Rome, I think, he could have destroyed this defense if he just flanked around here. I presume he can. It looks very easy to flank up here. And he could have surrounded this uh, force here and caused a lot more issues. But yeah, Pyrrhic victory for the defenders. So this one was sent in by uh, Huey, uh, who was playing as a Bowie Eye. Um, so thank you to him for sending that one in. It was an excellent, excellent siege battle. A great comeback from him. And uh, also Murray, who is part of the Discord, also took part in this one. So uh, well done to him as well as Colkiss. Um, but yeah, so I will look at the uh, results. So I mean, Bowie Eye played by uh, Huey. Um, he got quite a few kills with his archers. He's got 109 kills. His O-Swan getting 186 and 242. So excellent to them. His uh, Spear Warrior is not doing so well. Just getting absolutely mangled by uh, just anything. It looks like it. Um, his Sword Follower's got 170 kills. which is not bad at all. And his uh, Veteran Spear is getting 111 kills, which is not too shabby either. Uh, Lucifer Saint, who's playing as uh, Sparta. His Royal Spartan General getting 162 kills. His Scorpion getting 148, which is not too shabby at all. His uh, Sling is getting 203, which is a lot better than any of his Archers. His uh, Heroes of Sparta getting 162. His Pike's only getting 79, and I did think they could do a lot better. Um, his Royal Spartan's getting 184, I think the best one. And then his um, uh, Spartan Hot Plights, I think the best one getting 88, which is kind of poor for them. Then we've got uh, Horny Burrito, who's playing as uh, Palmyra. He got 107 kills with his uh, Palmyrian Palace Guard. 113 kills with his uh, armored swords. They got outmatched by the Gallic Romans. Um, he had brought some of his own gladiators. I did not see them. And uh, you can tell they just got mangled. Imperial Pike's getting 390 kills. The best unit so far I've seen with results. And the other one getting 205. So that did not do too bad either. Then Murray, who was playing his Colchis. His general only getting 64 kills. His Noble Ro Blood Cavalry, which I never saw on the battlefield. I must have missed them. They got destroyed. His uh, Eastern Archers getting 122 kills. His uh, Colchian Nobles, I think the best one getting 118. And his uh, Carly Axeman getting 252, which is excellent for them. And then uh, we've got Deco here, who's playing as Seleucids. Um, he got 155 kills with his Silver Shields uh, Swords. His uh, Silver Shield Pikes getting 175. His Shield Bearers getting 104. His Archers seem to just get destroyed. Um, he brought a lot of Archers, actually, and some Javis. Um, so it's actually, his Ar Syrian Heavy Archers got 105, which is not bad. Um, his Royal Peltas getting 182 kills. Um, and his Thorax Horse getting 275, which is excellent for them. Then we've got uh, Dr. Homunculus, uh, who's playing as Egypt, who got 134 kills with his archers. I mean, his archers seem to just get focused down by um, by uh, Palmyras and uh, Spartas. His Thorax Horse getting 128. And his... Uh, well, that's kind of it, that, to be honest. I mean, everything else from didn't do that great, to be honest, sadly. Um, his pikes did pretty poor, and his uh, Galatians, I thought, would have got better kills. This is unlucky for him. Then Luca, uh, Luca111, who's playing his Bactria, got 118 kills with his Bactrian Royal Cavalry. Um, his Bactrian Royal Guard getting 179 kills. His General Elephant only getting 73, which is kind of poor. Bit of a risk bringing a General Elephant. It might have been better just like swapping these two around, because you can have a General uh, Bactrian Royal Guard Cavalry. 
And then he could have been a bit more aggressive with his uh, elephants. Um, his Thoros Physical 126 was not too shabby for them. His Pikes, again, not doing so well. No one seems to have done that great with his Pikes apart from uh, Palmyra. And his Thorax Sword is getting 147 kills, which is not bad. And then we've got Pop, who is uh, playing his Gallic Rome. His uh, General getting only 51 kills. His uh, Gallic Imperial Guard, his best unit, only getting 50, uh, 45 kills. Uh, his Gladiator is not doing so well. And then his Longsword Cohort did excellent. I mean, most of them did really well. Got 199, 204, 180. And then his Pikes getting 277 and 148. He did very well with his Pikes as well. So if you, can guy, uh, if you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Um, keep supporting the channel, guys. Keep leaving comments. I do appreciate them all. I read them all. And uh, until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.